Guys, my name is Tan from Home and Away Fitness. I'm going to demonstrate a few different workouts for the core work. This is one of the most important things to work on. When your core is strong, it strengthens your back. You know, even for those who have back injuries, it's very important for you to work on the core. First and foremost, I'm going to start by showing you a basic sit-up. Okay? If you haven't got a strong core when you're beginning doing your sit-ups, what you want to do is you put your hands up above your head and use them to get your momentum as you swim up. Okay? And as you get stronger in your feet, you can get stronger and fit up. What you start to do now, keep your hands across your chest. This one is a bit more difficult, but if once you get stronger, it'll be easier for you to do. And when you get really fit, you can lift your legs up, keep your legs up. And this helps you hit most of your stomach from the upper, lower abs to the upper abs. Okay. Now, the more advanced sit-ups, we have uh, toe tap sit-ups. If you see my legs are at a 90 degrees angle, and I keep my hands in the back of my head, as it is an advanced sit-up, you already have it, and I mean you always know how to do it. With your... You can also choose, you can't do it, you can keep your hands on the side, and you do it. But when you do, you come up, and if you see the knee, that stays, it stays in one position. I'm not moving along with the other knee. It stays there because the other knee attacks the floor. Yeah? And when you get, if you come in, you can be more intricate and switch over to crossover. Go to the opposite elbow, the opposite elbow goes to the opposite knee. That's a great work. Okay. You have. Um, leg raise with the reverse curls, uh, with the reverse um, crunches, one of my fantastic workouts. Basically, you want to keep your palms flat against the floor. Start with your legs in the same position you start when you're doing the tap toes, toe tap sit ups. Right, this is what you do you've got to rotate, bring your knees up, you see my, my glutes are coming off the floor. So I'm on medial back, come back down, legs come up straight. Kick up, come back in, and up. This is a great workout for the lower abs. Fantastic. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you, I personally, I call them the tower six out of my tower of uh, uh, abs. It's what you need to do, probably when you were children when we were doing this workout. Where you lie down, bring your legs up. But what you've got to do, you've got to try and bring your body and push your legs up and reach out. So when you stay on, only thing that should be on the floor is going to be your upper back, more like uh, your traps in your head, and obviously in your arms. So let's keep it going. See, I'm rotating that. So you could actually combine all three movements from the leg raise, reverse crunches into that one. And I'll show you how to start. So you go reverse crunch, leg raise, rotate. One of the most important things we do now, I've gone to work, 
you try and stack the keep you up. Your torso tense. There's so many different work I could have gone around. You don't uh, realize what they're doing because they're trying to do the movement, but they're swinging more their torso than actually working on the abs. Right? <clears throat> One thing we're going It's a full range movement, but what you want to try and do is not to get full range movement. You want to keep the heart movement where this force is always tense all the time. Here. It's always set. So you don't go all the way back down, not all the way back down. Stay right here. Come up. So the abs are constantly working. Okay? Um, I mean, if you're yourselves at home, guys, try to sit up. So if you find it hard to do sit ups, you can always keep your feet tucked in underneath something to get someone to hold your feet to help you get. Um, Get better, um, uh, better range of movement or better delivery for you to come up. Pardon me. Everyone knows leg raises. If you're not, if your legs are down, if you're low, lower down, you still not strong, you keep your hands and this lower back, you lift your legs back down. But if you're stronger, if you've got a lot of strong, keep your hands inside. Bring them up. But what I like to do this time, I'm going to do leg raise with scissors. It's a scissor cross all this. So we go across. And come down. You get to the lowest point, we do a cross, cross. Come up and back down. You can do both ways. You go cross overs, get to the top, do another cross over. Come down, cross over, come up, and do a cross over. Great workout. Okay. Now we can show you some triangle sit-ups. It's a great workout. You can do it with a bench. And you can also do it with a double light dumbbells in your hands. Start this position. <laughs> Try and touch the toes. Check us out at www.homeandawayfitness.com uh, for, more, for more videos, for online training, um, and for diet plans and personalized DVDs, workout DVDs for yourselves. Thanks. Peace out.